fourth quarter final we're going to discuss is between Buffers Alley and St James. These two sides have actually played each other on a couple of occasions over the last few seasons, so it'll be very interesting to see how this one goes at the weekend. Sean, what are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, it's going to be another tight game, I reckon. Um, I suppose we played the Alley a couple of weeks ago and there was three points in it, and now they're, they're fairly solid all over the field, in fairness. I suppose a few good hurlers that Shamie Hagen is very good. Um, that another young lad playing middle of the field, and it was actually used very well, I can't think of his name now, but um, this was all the Kennys and they're well able to hurl. Um, I suppose they're, they're well able to get scores, they would have had a free taker as well, it was very good and never going to be missed a free all day again. I suppose the Jimmies, uh, the Jimmies are kind of unpredictable I suppose at this stage, they seem to be get through the group every year and then really don't shove on, but I think they're, they're coming a bit under the radar now, we played them in a kind of a, a Ross District game and I'll have Shane Murphy home from Australia, it's a big help. And, have, to have lads that are well able to hurl too, so it's going to be it's going to be a tight game. I wouldn't be surprised either of them get a result to be honest. So it's kind of high, I reckon. Yeah, yeah uh, we played the James. Um, kind of looking at the video work we were doing on them, they showed to keep the ball out of the centre because they were tough tackling. You know, they want to bring it into the rooks the whole time, and they did it to us. Um, we kind of just played into their hands, and as Sean mentioned. Uh, Shane Murphy, he got three goals against us, like, and it was very impressive from play as well. You know, um, also Jason Barron, the centre full back, that had a great game against us that day. Um, you know, it's very easy to turn around and say, here, Buffers Alley, I've seen very little of them. I know they've great youth there and so forth, and obviously they're probably second favourites, but I, I just think maybe, depending on weather conditions, we've seen how July went and so forth, I think the James could turn into a dogfight. Not going to say they're going to go all the way, but uh, they're going to make it very, very tight. I just have a feeling for James on this one. Yeah, and one, well, I suppose one thing from a Buffers Alley uh, perspective is they have, they have, they do have a lot of good young lads coming along. It's been a lean couple of years for them, I suppose, and they might have thought that they'd get it back up in senior a bit more quickly yes. than they have. But they won the under twenty championship last year, and they've been really, really good at, at underage for the last few years as well. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I, I think I spoke with someone about ten years ago, and I mentioned they had a double under twelve team coming through that was seriously strong, and that they're coming to fruition now. Like you know, it's great. Our hurlers there, we see with the Wexford under twenties, they have a couple. Um, they are going to be there, thereabouts, there's no doubt about it. But I think if anyone's going to give them a rattle to James as well, they're, they're a different sort of hurling team to what's out there, and they're tough tackling. And he might like to see him win there as well. If he can. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you've had plenty of battles, more so in the football championship yeah. over, over the years, but uh, in the same grade in the hurling now. and Just in general, the, the hurling around your neck of the woods, Gushran, St James, it's improved a lot over the last few years. Yeah, it has, I suppose, for the last couple of years, I suppose, I suppose Horace would have won Intermediate A yeah. last year, and we won it a couple of years ago, and I suppose Feather the James had won it a couple of years before that, and then Timon obviously had won it in between as well, so there's a lot of teams kind of getting up closer to seniors, I suppose Feather the only ones that kind of got up and probably unlucky to come back down again, so I suppose we're all kind of pushing to get to the senior, whether that'll ever happen, I don't know, but I suppose the Jameses are a few young lads coming now as well. They won't be too bad, but it'll be tight. Is there is there anything in particular that you think that might be the reason that so many clubs around that area have risen in the hurling ranks? Um, yeah, well, I suppose last couple of years when it's just been sold, hurling has probably helped clubs like that where maybe they've been a bit more football other years, whether they can just concentrate on the hurling for the however long it's going to be. I suppose that's probably really benefited benefited. Uh, clubs out around our area definitely and yeah so it's just trying to get that next step now is the next thing so your your thoughts then on how this one is going to go um i just have a feeling the james are going to turn over the alley on saturday or sunday whatever it's going to be and i i expect i think the james are going to win yeah so we have two votes for st yeah, james i'll chance the james is there yeah. as well and i'm going to i'm going to go with Buffers alley i think they'll win the game uh, i think i'd probably make them second favorites for the championship at the moment behind Clavon. Uh, but it'll be very interesting to see how it'll go. St James certainly will put up a good fight for it, but I think maybe Buffers Alley by two or three.